Good morning. We're looking at a Willard. A Willard trawler single engine built on the west coast. Not Fort Myers or Tampa, but the California west coast in the Pacific. This is about a 32 or so foot long trawler. You can see it's got an anchor pulpit with two anchors. It's got a CQR plow and a Bruce. You can see it's in the boat yard getting some work done on the hull. And other than all of the little white areas of patchwork, the hull looks very healthy. It looks great. You can see the hull sides has the faux wood planking, but it's a fiberglass boat. Pilot house and the flybridge. And looking up higher, you can see the Garmin radar, and then that other dish is the television antenna. Walking to the aft of the boat, you can see the full keel. Nice, not if you plan on grounding, but if you do ground. And then the propeller itself is protected with a shoe or a skeg. You can see that metal piece right here that protects the propeller and that also supports the bottom of the rudder. Looking at the hole in the rudder, that hole works very well if you turn the rudder hard to port or starboard, take the propeller off and you can slide the shaft out through the hull out through the hole. So that's a very good idea. You can see the hull itself looks very nice. Has a canoe stern, so it's not a flat stern, it's kind of a rounded stern. A canoe stern is what it's called. And dinghy davits hanging off the stern of the boat. Looking at the size of the exhaust pipe, I'm going to guess this boat might have 80 horsepower pushing my luck if we're going to go to a hundred horsepower. Got the step to get out here, here, and up. There's no swim platform, so that's the only way to get out of the water if you should fall overboard. But they're very nice boats, very seaworthy boats. We don't see many over here on the Atlantic coast or the Gulf Coast, but it's a very good looking boat and a sturdy, seaworthy boat. If you have any questions on trawlers, pocket trawlers, if you want to use that word, this is a nice example. I'm looking at a label, you can't see it in the camera, but it says Vega 30. I don't know if that's the model or the brand, Vega 30. So let's go back around to the bow. That noise in the background is the travel lift. They're probably setting it down in the water to pick up another boat to come into the boat yard. If you have questions on trawlers, ask Captain Chris.